When Tim Niemeyer set out to improve his renowned scupper kayaks, he knew if he lowered the footwells below the waterline, he would need a way to drain water from the cockpit. This was the beginning of the scupper valve. Swell Watercraft spent over two years exploring this patented system and developed several prototypes before we achieved the level of performance we felt our customers deserved. The silicone scupper valve uses a small ball to keep water from entering the cockpit while still allowing it to drain at higher speeds. The ball is removable, making it easy to clean the valve. The scupper valve is removable, installed by pushing into the scupper holes from the underside of the kayak. Make sure your valves are lined up properly. The handle should be in the exact center facing aft. This is important as it allows the maximum venturi effect under the boat. When not draining, keep the valves in the raised off position. To drain, push the valves down into the on position. Paddle forward at a sprint pace. The water will begin to drain at around four knots. The faster you go, the faster the cockpit will drain. When you've drained most of the water, pull up on the valve and put it into the off position. Under normal conditions, the three inches below waterline will drain out after 30 yards of sprint paddling. The Scupper 14 Kayak's lowered footwells serve up superior body positioning and unprecedented balance. This shrinks the paddle zone and delivers ergonomics that allow you to go longer and faster. Whether you're on a long ocean crossing or taking a spin on a local lake or river, the Scupper valve makes it possible and gives you an innovative way of getting the water out of your cockpit. For more information on the Scupper valve and Scupper 14 kayak, visit swellwatercraft.com.